Hey guys, Lija here. Thanks for joining me in episode number 46 of this vlog. This is the 46th vlog. It's crazy. We're nearing 50 episodes. Really grateful for today. It's actually the nighttime already, but I just finished, you know, all my routines for the day. It is very, it's getting a little challenging now to vlog because of the schedule that we have right now, but I'm still trying my best to uh, provide content because that is my promise is that I want to vlog daily for the next year and I hope that God will give me that strength to do it. Today's episode though, I just want to show you guys very interesting is that we usually buy bulk meats and it's something that I recommend to the people that are living here in Canada is to buy bulk because it's a lot cheaper. So here's the uh, rations from the pork that we bought. So it's like a quarter of the whole pig chopped into pieces. It's a lot cheaper because I tell you, one piece of pork belly usually costs around 13 to $15. Um, but this whole thing right here, quarter of a pig, all rationed out, I just finished you know, cleaning them up and, you know, chopping them up. This whole quarter pig is only $60. And uh, we bought this straight from the farm. So it's a lot cheaper. There's no butcher that, you know, I'm the butcher that did it. So they just gave us a whole, you know, a whole chunk of a quarter pig. And then I chopped them up into pieces. Preferably one Ziploc bag is one uh, recipe. And uh, hopefully I'm gonna get cooking very, very soon so I can uh, vlog some cooking recipes. And I'm really excited to do that. I do have a recipe book here that I wanna show you guys. And that's where I keep all the things. So, you know, one day Mel suggested uh, to, you know, jot down all my recipes so that uh, when she feels something to eat or, you know, when she thinks it's something to eat, she just goes down on this and just pick one recipe or whatever, right? So, that's good. I want to cook most of my recipes here. I have a lot of pork recipes to go with that. So, that's what I'm going to do. And the other thing too that I want to show you today's vlog is this awesome underlight counter that uh, I installed. So there's no light right now. It's kind of dark, right? But when you wave your hand like this, ta-da, it lights up. So that's something that I did today as well. Okay, there we go. So it's motion sensor activated underlight cabinets. So it's really, really cool. I love it. It's something that I was thinking to do for the longest time. Didn't really have time to do it, but now it's officially here. It's beautiful. And uh, I bought them from Costco as usual. It's really cheap. I actually have the box right here. I'm gonna show you. And again, it's from Costco. I actually have an extra one right here. Right here. You guys are interested? That's the light right there it's called Arctica. Arctica light. So it's motion activated. It says hold to dim. I ha actually haven't tried that feature yet. But uh, let's see if it actually dims down when you hold it. So when you hold it, it didn't dim. Why is it not dimming down? Come on, dim down, you dim dim. <laughs> it's not, it's not dimming down, so. What else? Really nice though, really love it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the crazy things that's happening. Kids are already asleep. Uh, we are trying to put them to bed early because obviously we're, you know, we, we need to wake them up early as well for school. So it's something that uh, we're, we're trying to implement right now. We are very lenient on them when it comes to their bedtime for the past three, four months, four, three months or whatever, because obviously they're not going to school and that uh, they're just staying home. So. They can sleep late, wake up late, doesn't really matter. But now, order has to come back <laughs> in this household, especially with the kids' um, bedtime. So yeah, that's that's what I did today. That's the kitchen right now. Sorry for the mess because we, again, we just had some Indian food dinner again. So, because I love Indian food. But anyways, yeah, that's the kitchen right now that I wanna show you. Obviously, you can turn this on, but the thing is, this is a yellow light. It feels kind of weird actually having that um, yellow light right there because the light looks weak compared to that bright LED white light. And when you turn off the kitchen lights, let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! It looks pretty awesome. It looks like it's professionally done actually, but it wasn't because I'm not a professional. Haha. -ha. So yeah, that's the new kitchen. The thing is that like all this 
LED lights, even though they're LED already, they are a little yellow for me. But I wanted something like brighter, whiter, and brighter. Um, so I might change that in the future, but not now because I'm enjoying it. That's crazy, that's a lot of food. And this is probably gonna last us for uh, at least two months, maybe, because we only, we don't eat. Pork is not the only meat that we eat. So we have fish as well, we have beef. So next time I'm gonna buy a uh, ration beef, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I, I do buy beef in quarters as well. This is a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. So yeah, this is gonna go in the freezer. Let me show you what the freezer is in the garage. Actually wanna buy a new freezer too because ours is a chest freezer and it's a pain in the butt because you have to dig down to the bottom of the pit uh, just to access your meat and I wanted to have stand-up freezer so that's the freezer right there that gets in there for now that might, we're, we're gonna change this reader pretty pretty soon so I don't care where it goes right now I just need them frozen okay guys so that's it Counter is clean, we are ready to go to bed. So before I went to, I cooked some pork adobo from that pile of pork that I just uh, chop chopped. So this is for my parents uh, because they don't eat Indian food. For some reason they have the limiting belief that Indian food is too spicy for them and that the spices overwhelms their sense of smell um, and I think it's a limiting belief that uh, they don't like the smell but it actually smells good um, and I love Indian food so yeah that's the reason that's why we always sometimes we have to cook two different meals or if I do takeouts, especially from Indian food or um, Lebanese food or something Middle Eastern they don't eat that kind of stuff, too much parsley or too much cilantro for them. So I uh, cook a different, you know, a different dish, more of a Filipino or Chinese dish. Um, I really hope I'm gonna get cooking very soon because I can't wait to share my recipes to you guys. I think it's gonna blow your mind if you try them. So um, for now, let's just stick to uh, whatever schedule we're trying to we're trying to build right now because uh, it, it's getting really really hectic. Especially both kids are going to school now. I'm not gonna lie, it frees my schedule a little bit more in in a sense of that I actually have time to work in the mornings now, especially when Alice goes full time. So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching this episode, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye.